uh, for all of the information that we needed on stamps uh, to get people from the stadium or from the installation to their seat, we could accomplish with the uh, silhouette technique. So for example, um, here's where we use color as real coding, the background of the ticket, the olive green ticket for all events were olive green on October 14. The stripe in the ticket showed you what area of the stadium you would find your entrance and seating. And the stadium, in this case, is Stadio, the stadium. We didn't use any uh, written instructions, only proper names and dates and numbers. And we didn't have one, uh, you know, no complaints. I mean, they, they seem to work very well. So I think this is one of the best things I've ever done as far as uh, applying gra the graphic language in a communication system that really worked from the graphics themselves without relying on, on any one particular language. Now, if, in the, with this ticket, if you were, you knew you were going to the stadium and you knew you were looking uh, for entrance 13 in the blue area, and we had the, the, the entrances signed to coordinate with the tickets. Now, like I said before, in that, in that period, uh, using icons was thought to be more for people that couldn't uh, read and write. But I learned very, uh, really I did learn that they could be used for other things than, you know, signs for directionals and so forth. And we had a, a cultural program and we developed a, um, a cultural event for each sporting event. Now the sporting events are pretty well known. These, these programs some of them were pretty, uh, pretty out there and they didn't relate to each other except through the fact that they were cultural and I took the, uh, the 68 and radiated it out uh, to a certain degree. Let me see here. And then let that be the outline of, of the symbol. One of the more important symbols, we had a program of peace and it, was, it wasn't just peaceful, the games in Mexico. We had a lot of things going on that uh, had to be overcome or had to be dealt with. One of them actually was here in the United States. And uh, we used the, the peace symbol in a lot of ways throughout the games. But the first time I used it was on uh, a, a stand for Dr. King. And the US, I mean, the, the Mexican government was the first uh, country in the world the issue of a memorial stamp for Dr. King, and they asked me to design it, so I've always been uh, very proud about that. Now, also at that same period, there was, there was violence in other ways, and uh, the students had an uprising, and actually they were using uh, graphics from the Olympics in a very clever ways to be anti-government. <laughs> and you know, this was a, it was a weird experience for me, because I was, I was really glad to see them doing powerful things that were anti-government. There was a lot of reasons why they were doing that. And I was also working for the Olympic Committee that was part of the government. And I wasn't much older than the students at that point. So I really felt, I guess the way I term it was I felt a little dirty from that experience. I wanted the Olympics to go on. I didn't want the student revolution to stop it. Uh, the Olympics did go on and I didn't feel so great about the whole experience. It was in 1986, I gave a talk at UNAM at the University in Mexico. And um, after, the, after the talk, the uh, di director of the architecture design school gave me this book. And he, um, he thanked me personally. He said, I want to thank you for creating a visual language that I could use as one of the students out in the street. He was, he was one of the students that were making those posters. So and I got very emotional. It was like lifting that whole kind of complication off my shoulders. I, I felt, uh, you know, it felt good to have that happen. In fact, uh, that's come full circle. Uh, two years ago, they asked me to design the, uh, the logo for the memorial to Tlati Loco, and they have a museum now. It's the first time the government has really allowed them to put all the facts together that there were about 300 over 300 students killed in that uprising. And uh, so I, I used the, uh, the dove as more or less of a phoenix and, and did Memorial 68 to tie in visually with the Mexico 68.